I'm going to discuss about the flip flop design using VHDL code. If you want to get my future videos, subscribe my channel. Coming to the D flip flop, it gives the same data whatever you are given to the input. Across the output, we'll get the same output. Flip flop means we know that it will store the one bit of information. Group of flip flops means it is an resistance. Group of resistors is called as memory device. So coming to here, uh, we can see this preset when preset equal to one and clear equal to one. So then clock will activate. Clock will activate, and it is uh, means it it is also should go to one. So then we'll get the same whatever you are given here. Same will get it across the output. Of course, the Q bar will get zero when it is one. So if we have given zero, we'll get it zero output. Uh, here we will we'll get it one. So that is the original D flip flop function. So if preset equal to zero and clear equal to zero, the clock will not activate and will will not get our required data. Same data. So that uh, we can see this uh, here. We need to mention that is preset input, pre preset input and clock input, and uh, D is data input, and outputs are Q and QN. So these are the input outputs. You can see this yellow color. We need to mention coming to the code. You can see this. This line we can observe this when clock equal to one. Clear equal to one, preset equal to one, and clock equal to clock will get activate. Will get whatever you are given input will get output one. So that is uh, the main required our required code. This is our required code. Remaining cases will not get when clock clear equal to zero and uh, preset equal to. Zero will get it only Q equal to one and Q n equal to one. So, so like this, we need to uh, write our code for D flip flop. So, we'll go for execution. For that, open the Xilinx tool. File new project and give it uh, any name. Flip flop. Any name you can give it here. Click on next, finish, and there uh, they have given the name D flip flop. So here also you can give it any name. Right click. Select VHDL module, D flip flop. Any name you can give it here. Click on next. And here we need to mention the input outputs. Here, as I said, preset clock D are the input. Preset clock D. Preset clock. D and outputs are Q and uh, next is Q and bar Q n. So these are the input output. You can check it again. P R L clock D Q Q n bar. So here uh, these are the input working okay. and Q and Q n bar is the outputs. Select and output. This is an outputs. So click on next. Finish. We'll get it everything here, and only we need to write the logic after the begin. You can see this. We'll get it everything here, and uh, if you want, to, you can delete this also. 
here you can check it only we need to write the code here so i am copying instead of writing so anything we are mentioned input outputs so i am copying everything by default uh, this totally will get it only logic we need to write so here you can check it if you want clock signal d and uh, preset q q and bar everything will get it so anyhow i am control v same thing i copied so this is our logic then control s save go to left side synthesize xst check syntax it will take some time then we need to go for so successfully completed then you to view for rtl schematic this is the first process implementation so then we need to go for simulation part every time so we need to do implementation as well as simulation part in which del or else very long so then we will get it start the explorer wizard uh, or else schematic uh, top level block so any with any option we can go no issue click on add and uh, schematic so this is our required uh, schematic diagram then go for simulation here uh, there is a one more chance uh, directly we can go or else you can go with uh, d flip flop uh, test bench so i am going uh, directly to give the simulation part so click on here i sim simulator click it there so behavioral check syntax then go for simulate behavioral model so it will take some time here we need to give uh, our required value so clear equal to for example clear equal force constant i am giving clear equal to 1 apply okay preset equal to 1 force constant right click force constant right click apply equal to 1 clock also will activate force constant 1 apply okay now d i am giving now whatever the d we need to give that will get it at across the output force constant d i am giving 1 1 apply okay now we need to run the simulation here uh, check it so preset equal to 1 clear equal to 1 and clock equal to 1 then d i have given 1 so the same will get it across the q we can check it 1 and opposite qn is zero will get it so this is this is what we wrote there in the program you can check it so when clear equal to 1 and uh, here you can see this when clear equal to 1 and uh, this uh, same thing will get it here you can see this so if you want uh, i'll show you uh, yes this one the same thing will get it so i'll change one more one more input again here i am giving and that is clear equal to one more condition i am giving force constant force constant 0 clear equal 0 apply okay and preset equal to 1 force constant 1 i am giving 1 i am giving next we need to give one apply okay then clock will not activate even if you are given so uh, that's why i am giving zero force constant zero apply okay so then again run it yes now we can see this when you are giving 0 1 clear equal to 
or else you can check it here clear equal to 0 and pre or preset equal to 1 clear equal to 0 preset equal to 1 then we will get it q equal to 0 and q equal to 1 q equal to 0 we are getting and q and bar equal to 1 the same thing we will get it so like this uh, we will get the d flip flop output if you have any doubts or any suggestions please send to me thank you